Monica, and I'm going to show you how to play Circle K by Pedro the Lion. This is something I figured out based on tabs online and also watching the live performance video. It might not be perfect, but doing the best I can, and hopefully it helps someone out. So let's zoom in and break it down. I'm going to start by breaking down what it looks like the guitarist is doing in the live video. So we'll start with the intro and I'll show you a simpler way of playing it first and then we can add a couple extra notes in. So on the sixth fret on the A and D strings, I'm going to bar down. So if I have E, A, D, G, B, E, I'm pushing down on the A and D strings or string four and string five. I'm leaving the top string or the low E string open. So I'm going to start by hitting the low E string open three times. Then hitting the D string once. Okay. Then from there, I'm hitting the seventh fret on the A string, then the sixth fret, same string. So all together. Yeah, one more time. Open E, one, two, three, D string then A string seven, six, okay? Then I'm gonna repeat that same rhythm uh, down on the fourth fret. So I'm barring the fourth fret on the same A and D strings, playing the low string open three times, then D string four. Then this time I'm gonna use my ring finger and hit the sixth fret on the A string and then lift off to the fourth, okay? So again, open E, D string, then A string six, four. Okay, let's put all that together. So back to the sixth fret, open E, then down to the fourth fret. Okay, then we repeat that one more time down on the second fret. So low E hits three times, D string second fret, then ring finger on the fourth fret of the A string, then second fret. Okay, so that part one more time. Okay, let's put all that together. So back to the sixth fret, open E three times. Okay, then the last part is gonna go, I'm putting my ring finger back on the fourth fret of the A string, then two, then open on the A string, and then fourth fret on the E. So all together. Okay. So four, two, open, four. Okay, let's put all that together. So back to the sixth fret, here we go. section repeats most of that. The only thing that changes is the last four notes. So we go through it again. Now this time, I'm going to go to the D string first fret, second fret, and then with my pinky finger hit the fourth fret on the A string, and then second fret. So again, D string, one, two, and then A string, four, two. Okay, let's put that together one more time. Just that second part. missing in all of this is the bass notes, kind of this perpetual quarter note drone that we get. Um, so we want to fit those in whenever we're not playing the A or D strings. And I know that sounds very simple, but um, there's kind of some alternating that gets involved there. But what I really like about this song is that it's kind of driven on quarter notes. 
So every, you know, every beat gets a note for the most part. So for this beginning, we hit that, that low E string three times and then we can go back to it. So um, I'm barring the sixth fret A and D strings, E string, D string, right back to the E string. And then I hit my seven and six. And then I go right back to my E. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> let's do that again. That's what it is. So I'm hitting the E two times in between the D string and the A string. So I'll break that down. So D string, A string. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again. One, two, three, four. 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 Yeah? One more time. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay, then for that first, I guess, section. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let me repeat that. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. And then we repeat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two. Now the second part, we go one, two, three, four. Open. Two, three, four. Okay, so let's break that down again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Or you can use your pinky. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's put it all together from this from the top. This is all just the intro. We repeat that for the verse. So that whole section, um, we play the first time through with no words, and then we play it twice for the first verse. However, at the very end of the final measure, or kind of the final section, I guess, um, right before he leads into the chorus, he finishes with... On the G string or string three from the, coming up from the bottom, eighth fret, ninth fret, and then on the low E, I'm gonna hit nine, seven. And then we go into the chorus part. Okay, so leading into the chorus, um, what he starts with is on the G and D strings. He's on, he's on seven and nine. So seven on the D string, nine on the G string. And this is what it sounds like. Okay, so kind of alternating between the two strings, it's we're gonna go D, 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 G, D, D, G, D, again. Uh, sorry, pointer finger moves down a fret on the same string. Okay, so what that ends up being is D, 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 G, D, D, G, G. I'm just moving my pinky finger down a fret to the seventh. Uh, sorry, that's the eighth, so nine, eight. 
Let's go over that again. <laughs> so we just came from the verse and we came from here. Then we went to the octave, middle finger, pinky finger, ring finger, pointer finger. Pinky finger stays on the G string ninth fret. Pointer finger moves down to the D string seventh fret. And we go. Okay, so more quarter notes. It's D, 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 G, D, D, G, D. Or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. From there, pinky finger stays. Pointer finger moves down to the sixth fret. Then pinky finger moves down to the eighth fret. So all together. Okay, one more time. pointer finger needs to stretch all the way down to the fourth fret. And what happens here is there's actually a rest for count one here. So he doesn't play anything on one and then plays the fourth fret. One, two, three, four. So again, one, two, three, four, then back to the fourth fret. Let's see, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Middle finger goes to the sixth fret. One, two, three, four. Then back to the fourth. And then pinky finger eight, nine. So let's do that one more time. So here we are. Rest on the one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, because I screwed up. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Let's do that one more time. All right, so rest on the one. Play on the two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's it. So that's the first half of the chorus. The second half, we just repeat the very first part and then we kind of repeat some of the second part. So from seven and nine on G and D, stays I move my pointer finger down to the fourth fret again rest on the one play on the two count one two three four one two three four okay so that is D D G D D D D D then I'm gonna hit the sixth fret with my ring finger on the G string hit the D string fourth fret two more times then six, four on the G string. Then on the low E, it's five, four. Okay, so all together, that whole part, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so shall we do the entire chorus from start to finish? Hopefully I don't screw it up, but I'm excited. Here we go.
we just go right into the next verse, right? So this song really just has the two main parts, right? The intro and the verse are essentially the same and the chorus we do twice, actually technically three times. But keep in mind that there's a whole band playing this song. So what this guitar is doing is sparse on its own um, because it has a whole band to fill out the rest of the sound. So if you're trying to play this by yourself, it might be preferable to use chords instead of individual notes. So um, what I've come up with, kind of just listening to the song and, and playing around with it, is from the intro and the verse, it's the same chords, um, we start with an E major. And I'm not sure what your background is or your experience level, so I'll just break it down a little bit just in case. Um, I would say with this song, normally uh, we would play an E major all six strings, right? But for this particular song, I think it's nicer to focus on just the top three or four strings and not playing these last kind of higher pitched ones. So from there, I'm gonna move to a B, B major, and I'm gonna do more of a power chord version of it. So I'm muting my low E string. I'm on the second fret A, fourth fret D, fourth fret G, and muting the last two strings, okay? And then from there, you again could play an open A major, but kind of just omitting those last two strings. For this, I, I like to, it to be more of kind of like a power chord-ish thing. So I'm gonna bar the D and G strings on the second fret. I'm not playing the E string. I'm just playing A, D, and G, just those three. Okay, and I'm playing that chord for twice as long as the other one. So from the top, E major, B power chord, and then an A power chord, give or take. Twice as long. Again, E major, B, A. And that is the verse. For the chorus, I like the bar chords better for this one. So I'm gonna take it to the fifth and seventh frets and play an A major. So what I'm playing here is fifth fret E string, seventh fret A string, seventh fret D string, and then sixth fret G string, and then muting the B and high E. Okay, so I guess it's not really a bar chord, but it's something like that. Okay. A major, and I'm gonna go down a fret to G sharp, and I'm gonna move these three fingers each down a string. And I'm gonna bar these top two strings so I get a little bit of a bassier sound for this G sharp minor. So I'm on a four, four, six, six, five. Technically four, but I'm not gonna play that high E string. So from A major, G sharp minor, and then I'm gonna take that same A sharp, or excuse me, A major shape and move it to seven and nine. So I'm on seven, nine, nine, eight. For that B, playing it twice as long. So again, A major, G sharp minor, as long. Those are your chorus chords. Again. So there you have it. That is Circle K by Pedro the Lion. If you found this video helpful, feel free to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I do plan to do more of these tutorial videos, so if you have requests or feedback, please leave it in the comments. 
This is actually my first guitar tutorial ever, so hopefully it didn't suck too bad. Uh, but until the next one, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.